Hello, this is Reza Rat from Radicad. In this video, I'm going to talk about drill down and up options in Power BI, how they are working and how you can use them in the best possible way. Let's check it out. Uh, for this example, you can download the file down in the description below. There is a link to my blog article, which you can download the file from there and learn more about it. Uh, let me explain how this works. First of all, how do you add these buttons, which is drill down and drill up buttons to a visual? To do that, you need to have a hierarchy in uh, in a field individual. For example, here we have a hierarchy in the X axis of this visual. The hierarchy is created by just drag and drop of the order date because Power BI creates this default date table. So by just dragging that into here, we have the hierarchy of year, quarter, month, and day. You can also do this by dragging uh, fields separately into one uh, axis of the visual. That would create a hierarchy like what you see here. When you have a hierarchy in um, in the visual, then you will see these options which are drill down and drill up. Uh, and I'm going to explain how they are working. Uh, before explaining this, the default behavior when you click on a, on a visual in Power BI is highlight. For example, when I click on 2006, it highlights 2006 and other areas are uh, a little bit different color now, so I can actually understand which one I selected. Now let's talk about these drill down options. The first one I'm going to talk about is this, which is called drill mode. By default, this is off. This is the single arrow down. When I click on it once, the drill mode is now on. When the drill mode is on, I can selectively drill down to any of these levels. I have four levels in my hierarchy, year, quarter, month, day which means if I go and click on any of these columns, for example, 2007, then it actually drills down to the quarters of 2007. These quarters are the second level of my hierarchy, as you can see here. So I'm actually in the second level of the hierarchy for that year that I selected, which was 2007. Now I can click on another one of these, let's say quarter two, then I'm in the month of quarter two of 2007 and I see these month sales. I can click on any of these months and I'll see the days. As you can see, I'm actually going into this direction when I'm drilling down from the higher level down to the lowest level. And whenever I want to go up, I use this option, which is drill up, and that will go one level up each time I click on it. And I can go all the way to the top. This is a fantastic way of exploring data. You can look at the data in high level, see if there's any anomalies, then go into that specific area, look at that section and see why that anomaly happened and somehow investigate it, do some data exploration. That is what this selective drill down is good for. But there's a problem with this, actually, uh, and that is when I'm in, for example, quarters, there is no way for me to understand these quarters are belong to which year. That is a um, that's a problem that I explained in another blog and video how to fix it, and you can easily fix it. So make sure that check out the link down in the description below that has explanation of how to do it. That is one way of drill down. I would say this is selective drill down. Uh, if you turn that off, now the next way of drill down is this one I'm going to explain, which is this fork-like uh, icon. This is uh, going down to the next level, but the difference of that is that this is going uh, to the next level for all years. Instead of looking at, for example, only quarters of 2007, I can look at quarters of all years together, which is a good way to understand trend. Uh, if I click on it, I can see that now I have these data in quarters, but for all years, actually my axis changed to quarter and year. And if I do it one more time, then I have quarter, year and month. Of course, if I do it one more time, it would be days, but it would be like a very long X axis. Uh, this is a great way to understand the trend. I can see how the sales change through the time. Um, uh, with this with this method of 
visualization instead of looking at at a high level. I might want to look at uh, look at it at one level down, quarter level, or month level, which shows the trend uh, in much more detail. Uh, you can use the same method to drill up using this option. So I can go drill up. So the difference of this, these two so far was that that is a selective drill down versus this one is expanding all down one level, but for all level uh, for all of the years, not for just one of the items. For all of these categories, it goes down to the next level. And the last one in this list is this one, which is two arrow down. I would call it branching. Uh, this is helpful for the areas that I want to understand. Uh, for example, what is the best seller quarter in this data set? What is the quarter that is not selling well? In that case, I want to look at the data sales by quarter regard regardless of the year. I don't want to look at a specific year. I want to look at it regardless of the year. In that case, I can choose this option, which is go to next level. And when I click on it, actually, I see the sales by quarter. In this case, it's sum of sales because the default summarization for sales amount is sum. If it be average, it would have been average. But this is sum of sales for quarter two for all years, for example. It is not just for one year. Or this is for uh, quarter three for all years. And easily I can see that quarter two is my best seller, quarter three is worst. This is good for this type of analysis. In fact, it looks like you created a new visual by sales as the value and quarter, regardless of the year, as the x-axis. It is a fantastic way of analyzing data more. And if I click on it one more time, then I'm looking at the next level of hierarchy, which is month, again, regardless of the year or quarter. I can see that month, such as June, are bestseller month, September is not. It's a great way to understand it. And you can always use that drill up to go up. So these options are how uh, you can use drill down and drill up. Uh, there are a few questions that I get throughout my courses usually. As soon as I explain this, one of the questions is that if I go drill down to a specific area uh, and explore that area and I, and I publish it at this stage, would it stay like that? Yes. The answer is that this configuration is persistent. If you change it like that and publish it, the default view would be like that. However, the user can go and change it. Uh, which is another very important thing about these drill down and up options here as well. These are not developer only options. These are also for end users and they are actually perfect for end users because uh, they give end user ability to, data exp to do data exploration uh, instead of coming to you every time and asking for I want this visual, I want that visual. So you are empowering them to do data exploration. However, because they can be a little bit confusing if the user doesn't know what to do, you have to ensure that they understand it. You can give them the link of this video, for example, as a reference to learn how to work with these. Uh, you have to make sure that in your end user training, they totally understand how these options works. Otherwise, they might get confused. And one other thing, the last thing is that these options is not just available here at the top of the chart. They are also available when you right click, you see drill down, show next level, expand next level. And if I'm actually in another level in any ways, then I can also see drill up as well. Uh, they are also available in Power BI Desktop in the data drill menu option here. And you'll see all of these options over there as well. So different places that they are available. The most convenient one, however, usually is the one at the top of the chart. Uh, the, uh, the last thing I want to explain about this is that there is also something called drill through. I explained that in another video and blog, which is about master detail design of visuals. Mm, very powerful feature. If you want to learn more about it, check out the link down in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and learn more about um, drill down and drill up in Power BI. If you have any questions, feel free to put that in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you.